Hello world, it's Siraj and hold on. Hello? Siraj, my name is Nord and I really need your help. What do you need? I don't have time to explain. They're coming after me. Can you please just press the number four? Wait, who are you? Hello? Hello? The number four? Okay. Whoa, what? Where am I? What is this place? Freeze! Put your hands where we can see them! Hey, over here! Get in the car! Wait, who are you? Just get in before they perform a brain drain on you! Okay, I definitely don't want a brain drain. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, that was close. Wait a second. You're just a kid. How do you know how to drive? Around here, kids are better drivers than adults. I can tank video games. All right, well, what is this place and why do you need my help? This world is called Koa. It's similar to Earth, but not really. I asked a friend to teleport you here because I need your help finding a legendary device called the Luma. Wait, so I'm on an alien planet? Yeah. Dope. All right, so what's the Luma? It's a device that can power the entire planet with unlimited free, clean energy. It would save our entire planet from the destruction caused by pollution. Its location is on this USB stick, but I need your help finding the relevant information inside of the stick. The King of Kola, King Nana, wants the stick because he wants to use its power for himself to create a giant burger that only he can eat instead of powering the entire world. I won't let that happen. We gotta find it before he does. Okay, I definitely don't want your planet to be destroyed, so let's do this. All right, so I'll just plug this USB stick in my laptop and there we go. Wait, this is just a bunch of pictures of your planet, like mountains and rocks and lakes. Exactly. I got these pictures from a satellite. One of these pictures has the Luma on it. It's uh, bright pink. We got to find which picture has the Luma. But it would take me years to find it. There is 5 million pictures on this USB stick and that's why I need your help. You understand computers, so maybe you could show me how to do this? Alright, I can help. Let me see. Hmm... Do you know what programming is? I've heard about it, but I don't know much about it. Alright, check this out. So a computer is a machine and we can use it to do literally anything we can dream up. And the way we can do this is by a process called programming. You can also call it coding or software engineering. Basically, it's a set of instructions that we give a computer to do some task. That task can be creating a game world like Super Mario or playing a list of songs or even creating a website. That sounds awesome. So how do I program something? Well, you need to choose a programming language first to code in. Okay, which one? Well, computers read instructions as a set of ones and zeros. These are instructions that are easy for a computer to read, but they're kind of hard for us to read. So we can use programming languages like C or Java or Python that are made up of words instead of numbers. That way we can read them and understand how they work. If we take a language like Python, we can write a simple program that just says, hello world, all I do is type the command print, then the phrase hello world into this Python text editor. Then I hit the run button and it will say hello world in the output window. That's the output of the program. See, to us the program just says print hello world, but under the hood, all this text is broken down into ones and zeros so a computer can read it and process it. That's awesome. So I guess Python is the best programming language? Well, it's definitely my favorite one. Python is a really easy language to start learning programming with. But in the end, programming is an art form. It's something you can get better at with practice. It's the art of problem solving. I really like Python because you don't have to think too much about what the right commands to use are. And instead, you can just focus on solving your problem. That's pretty cool. I want to use Python now. So how do we use Python to find the Luma in all these pictures? Well, we're going to have to do some machine learning using Python. What's machine learning? Well, the traditional way to do programming was to tell a computer what to do, like give it exact instructions. Let's say we want to tell it to detect the Luma in a picture. Well, we can write code that can detect all the different features of what the Luma looks like. 
like its color and shape and size. But the luma could be in many different kinds of positions in one of these photos. There's no guarantee of what exactly it will look like. You do have some pictures of a luma, right? Definitely. They're on the computer as well. Okay, so instead of us telling the computer what a luma looks like, we can have it learn what the luma looks like. That's called machine learning. It's when we give a computer not a set of instructions to complete a task, but instead a set of data and the task and have it learn from that data to complete the task. So we can use Python to create a machine learning model. Then we'll feed our model a bunch of pictures of the Luma. Our model will learn exactly what the Luma looks like. Then once it's learned what a Luma looks like, we can give it all the satellite pictures you have and it will tell us when it detects the Luma. Awesome! So how do we make a machine learning model? Well, there are lots of different machine learning models we could use, but a really cool one I like to use is called a neural network. A neural network can learn anything if we give it enough data and computing power. Here's how it works. If we have some data with two columns, the first column is a set of pictures of the Luma, the second column is a label that says Luma or not Luma. We can feed in each row of the data to the neural network one at a time. There is some pattern here, some kind of relationship between the two columns, and a neural network can figure it out. Once it's learned this pattern, we can give it a new picture and it'll automatically be able to tell us if there is a Luma or there isn't. How does it do that? Well, the neural network is actually just a few math operations. Our input is going to be an image. But if you think about it, an image is really just a set of numbers. It's a set of pixels, and each pixel has a value that corresponds to a color. A computer reads these pixels so it can display the colors of the image. So it's a table of numbers, and our neural network is a series of math operations. It consists of a set of layers. Let's just use a simple network with three layers an input layer, a hidden layer, and an output layer. In a neural network, data goes from the input layer through the hidden layer to the output layer. When it reaches the output layer, it outputs a prediction of what it thinks it sees. What connects each of these layers are a set of weights. Each weight is a matrix. And since we have three layers, we have two weights between each layer. What's a matrix? Please don't tell me it involves that movie with slow motion. What? You watch Hollywood movies on this planet? All right, never mind. A matrix is a math word for a group of numbers that has a set of rows and columns, just like our picture is. We will multiply our input by our first weight matrix, and that'll give us a new set of numbers. Then we take those numbers and feed them to what's called an activation function. The activation function will output a new set of numbers, and that's our hidden layer. We'll take those numbers and repeat the process again, using the new numbers as inputs. Input times weight, activate, just like that. And it produces our output, a prediction value that says what percent the neural network thinks it's a Luma or not. Wait, 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 what's an activation function? It's a math formula that makes sure our neural network can learn any kind of relationship. There are two kinds of relationships, linear ones and nonlinear ones. That means if we were to graph the relationship between any two things, the line would be either straight or squiggly. An activation function makes sure our neural network can learn both kinds of relationships. But yeah, we can add as many layers as we want to our neural network. We can also try to modify our neural network to do all sorts of mathematical operations. Wait, 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 wait. That's a lot to take in. Let's just use a simple neural network for now. Agreed. We can code this neural network in Python really easily in just a few lines of code. Each line represents a different type of layer that the neural network is using. Each of these keywords is a different math operation that the network is using. The process of learning that a network uses is called training. We create our neural network as just two matrices, and the numbers in each of these matrices starts off as random. We're going to input our Luma images into the network one at a time. We'll do this 60,000 times. It's called training. We do our input times weight operation, then activate the result. We do that twice to get our prediction. Then we calculate how far off our prediction was from reality and use that change to update both of our neural network weights ever so slightly. We just keep doing that over and over again and eventually those random numbers we started off with in our neural network start to get really useful. So when we give our network a new image of a Luma, it will know exactly whether or not it's a Luma or not. Blasted monkeys, they're here! We've got to find the Luma! How long till it's done training? Did you just say blasted monkeys? Yeah. 
<sighs> All right, uh, it just finished. Okay, let me give it the satellite pictures. They found it, it's in this picture. Awesome, I've got the coordinates. Let's teleport there. There it is, I've got it. Yes, thanks Rob. Anytime, uh, good luck. We need one of those on Earth too. Uh, speaking of Earth, can you teleport me back now? Sure thing. Bye. See ya. All right, it's good to be back. There are three things to remember from this video, wizards. The traditional way of programming is to give a computer some instructions on what to do. Machine learning is a form of programming where instead of instructions, we give a computer some data and a goal. And then the computer learns how to do the goal using the data. And a neural network is a machine learning model that can learn from data and it consists of matrix operations. Input times weight, activate. And there are two kinds of relationships two data points can have, linear and nonlinear ones. That means a straight line or a squiggly line. Neural networks can learn both types. Please subscribe for more programming videos and I hope you have a happy new year. Thanks for watching.